Hi there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is another video in my Herbalism's Basics series, and this is on how to make a basic cream. Now, in order to engage with the healing, health-giving properties of herbs, we need to prepare them in a format that we can use effectively. And one of the ways we can do that is by making a herbal cream. Now, herbal creams are great because unlike salves and ointments, which tend to sit on top of the skin and uh, be quite greasy, creams work in much better harmony with the skin. They're absorbed much more easily and they're more cooling and soothing. They also allow the skin to breathe and perspire naturally. Now creams are made in a very specific way and they consist of about 50% oil and 50% water. And that means when creams are used in herbalism, you can blend infusions and decoctions, which are both water-based, together with oil-based infusions, as well as including tinctures and essential oils. Now ordinarily, oil and water don't mix. So there is another ingredient that you need to include called an emulsifying agent, which will bridge the incompatibility between the two very different kinds of liquids and allow them to blend together. Now, if you've ever made your own mayonnaise, you'll already understand the process and you'll know that an egg yolk is used as an emulsifying agent uh, and that will allow you to uh, mix the oil and the vinegar. Now, you can also make herbal creams using an egg yolk as an emulsifier, but it will only give the cream a very short shelf life. Another emulsifying agent you can use is lanolin, but it may cause some people to have allergy issues. So by far the best emulsifying agent to use for herbalist creams is beeswax. It's a totally safe and natural product that has its own healing properties, which it adds to the healing cream. Now, some people can have reactions to certain herb plant groups. So when you're trying a particular herbal remedy for the very first time, it's always a good idea just to try a small amount and then give it some time to make sure that you don't have a reaction to it. Also, if you're pregnant, then herbalism can potentially cause complications. So always consult a doctor before getting involved with any of this stuff, no matter how innocuous it may seem. Okay, so here's how to make a herbal cream. For a simple cream, you'll need an infused oil and a water-based herbal preparation, such as a decoction or an infusion, plus any tincture or um, essential oils that you may wish to add. Now, if you don't already know how to make these types of herbal preparations, then my other videos will show you how. Now the main goal is to aim roughly for a 50-50 ratio of oil to water. So first of all, measure out one cup of the infused oil preparation and one cup of the water-based preparation. Gently warm the infused oil preparation in a double boiler or a glass bowl suspended over boiling water in a saucepan. Then add in one ounce of beeswax to the oil. The proportion of beeswax to oil is always one ounce of beeswax to every one cup of oil. Continuously stir the oil as it heats up and allow the beeswax to melt, but never let the oil get too hot or it may ruin the plant material within it. Once the beeswax has melted into the oil, turn off the heat and give it a good stir. Then pour the oil into a bowl that's suitable for using a hand blender or whisk and is large enough to hold all of the oil and the water-based preparations whilst it's being blended together. Allow the oil to cool to lukewarm before you proceed. Once the temperature has dropped, add in any essential oils and tinctures if you require them. Using a hand blender or a wand or a hand whisk, start mixing the oil and at the same time begin pouring in very, very slowly the water-based preparation. You will see the oil and water start to combine. The resulting emulsified cream may be quite thin to begin with, but as you add more of the water-based preparation and continue blending, the cream will smooth down into a thicker consistency. 
And that's it. Once you've finished blending, just spatula the finished product into clean, dry and preferably dark jars and label them. Try to protect the jars from heat and keep in the fridge wherever possible. Shelf life will vary depending on the ingredients, but a general rule of thumb is three months if refrigerated and three weeks if not refrigerated. If the cream contains an alcoholic tincture, it will likely last a bit longer. So that's it for this how to make a herbal cream video. Make sure you look out for my other how to make specific herbal preparations videos that will show you other methods of preparing herbs into remedies. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.